welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it is meal prep day. And boy oh boy, do I have three absolutely fan Fantastic recipes for you today. I have breakfast, lunch, and an amazing sweet treat. Hint, hint, it is a spin on monkey bread, but WW friendly and clean eating. So I can't wait to share all of these recipes with you today. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below. That's where you're going to find the link to my website. The website is where you're going to find all of today's recipes, as well as links and discount codes to my favorite things and a lot of the products that I shared with you today. You'll also find the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of the community over there, so head on over and join us. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by today. I'd love if you take a moment, subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded, and join my wonderful YouTube friends and family. It's a great place to be. Give this video a thumbs up if you love meal preps, and without further ado, let's jump right into these three recipes. this week we are making country breakfast casserole you guys know I've been really trying to up my protein game I shoot for a certain number of grams every day so I want to have meals and snacks that are filled with protein and this is a great example of that we have eggs sausage it's going to be delicious so let me show you what's in breakfast you're going to need some flour low-fat milk you could also use almond milk egg beaters or an egg substitute Potatoes, I'm going to be using red potatoes. Of course, some salt and pepper for seasoning. Bell peppers, I'm going to do one green and then one of these tricolor, I'll just pick a color. Some light cheese, I always use the Trader Joe's. You guys know I love this one. We need an onion, these are pretty small. These came from Imperfect Foods, which you guys know I love. Imperfect Foods, I'll link them down below for you. But these are pretty small little organic onions, so I'm just gonna use two of them. And then I'm going to use these sausages. I pulled out the packaging. This is the Amy Lou Chicken Breakfast Links. These have perfection when it comes to ingredients. I actually bought these at Costco, and I just keep them in my freezer and pull them out when I'm going to use them. They are 12 grams of protein per serving, which is three links. So. It's a great way to get in protein. It's a very clean sausage. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, um, here's your ingredients. Like clean, perfectly clean sausage, no added sugar or dextrose, which I love. So I'm gonna be using the Amy Lou sausage as the protein source in my casserole. So let's make breakfast. So the first thing we have to do is a lot of chopping. If your sausage is not pre-cooked, which mine is, you're going to want to brown it and drain it first. Mine is pre-cooked, so we're just going to slice the sausage. We're going to cut up the potatoes, the bell peppers, the onion. We're gonna throw it all in a bowl here because we are basically combining all of this into a casserole dish to bake, and then we'll put together the casserole. So now let's put together the casserole. So in my measuring cup here, I have one and a half cups of the egg beaters and one cup of milk. I just put it all into the one measuring cup to save on dishes. And then to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. And this is just going to help thicken up the gravy or the sauce portion of the casserole. So I'm just going to mix this until fully combined. Now we're gonna go ahead and season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it another quick stir. And then we're gonna add in this whole bowl of goodness right here. We've got our sausage, 
onions, green peppers, and potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and just add that in. And we're gonna have a big full bowl of goodness here. And then we are just going to stir and combine. We wanna make sure everything gets coated in the milk, egg, and flour mixture because that's what's going to bind it all together and form the casserole as it bakes. Then we're going to take some of our cheese. This is one cup of cheese. I'm going to put in about a third of it and just mix that into the casserole. Now you don't have to mix any cheese in. You could put it all on top, kind of whatever your preference is, but I decided that I wanted a little bit of cheese mixed in with the actual breakfast casserole filling so I'm just adding again about a third of that cheese giving it another quick stir let's pull out a baking dish and get this cooking so I have my baking dish here I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray because I don't want any of my delicious breakfast sticking to the pan and then we are gonna go ahead and add in all of the casserole mix and we're just going to pour that into the baking dish and then we'll use our spoon here and get it spread out nice and evenly make sure that everything has a little bit of the liquid as well because you want to make sure that that again cooks and binds together the casserole itself but this looks really good good you guys we've got quite a bit of veggies with the peppers and the onions we've got lots of protein with the eggs and all the sausage and then we get the fun part of the potato you can also see I'm going to show you here that I cut my potato really really small and I also cut it really really thin just because I want it to cook pretty quickly in the oven. I don't want my potatoes to end up being hard and the rest of my casserole being cooked through, if that makes sense. So I went ahead and cut them small enough that I feel like they'll be able to get completely cooked through. And then last but not least, let's flip this guy around here. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and top it with the rest of our cheese. I am going to cover it with a little bit of foil before I put it into the oven, only because I don't want the cheese to get too hard on top of the casserole. And then I'll just remove the foil at the very end of the cooking process to get the cheese nice and melty and kind of browned. So I'm gonna put this in at 375 degrees for at least 30 minutes or at, until everything is cooked completely through. But look at that, yum. Breakfast is served, look at this, yum. You guys, my house smells amazing, like a breakfast cafe. This looks incredible. This entire pan makes six servings. So it's going to be a huge serving packed with veggies and protein, potatoes and cheese. So I'm gonna let this rest for just a couple of minutes, slice it into six servings. Let's get it in the meal prep container and I'll be back to share smart points and calories. Alrighty, here is breakfast. This is going to be such an incredible breakfast. This is a huge slice of this casserole. It fills the entire large side of my meal prep container and it is about that thick. I mean, it is nice and hearty. Big, big breakfast serving. I'm just pairing mine with some fruit. You can see that I have some blueberries and I also have some organic grapes. So let's go over points. So the recipe makes six servings. It is seven smart points per serving on the blue plan, eight on the green plan, and four points on the purple plan, just because you don't have to account for the potatoes. Now you may wanna recalculate yours if you use a different sausage than I did because it may lower or it may increase the smart points. And then of course the fruit is zero. It is 365 calories per serving, which is not bad at all, plus whatever you pair that with whatever fruit. So this is breakfast my friends and it looks amazing. <laughs> lunch this week I am making a tomato and mozzarella tortellini salad so this is going to be a cold pasta salad perfect for these hot summer days I'm going to pair this with a few different protein options I'll share those with you once we make the salad this does have a decent amount of protein but I probably will add another source just to really up my protein game as you know I've been doing so let me show you what's in our lunch. First, you'll need the Kraft Zesty Italian Light Salad Dressing or any dressing similar to this. Some fresh basil, black olives. I just buy the big bag at Costco, so we put them in the storage container. This here is Parmesan cheese. You'll need that. Cherry tomatoes. Tortellini. It'd be better if you bought the refrigerated tortellini. I didn't even think about that and just grabbed this frozen, so I'm gonna have to pre-cook and cool this tortellini, so I recommend the refrigerated one. You'll need some mozzarella cheese. You can buy it pre-cubed in balls or in a block like this and just cube it up yourself. 
a big green pepper, a red onion, and some turkey pepperoni. Let's make a salad. So I have a pot here on the stove. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then we are actually going to cook this entire bag of tortellini. When it is done cooking, I will drain it and then rinse it with cold water to try to speed up the process of getting it cooled for the salad. So let's start chopping. So we're chopping. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the basil. We need eight ounces of mozzarella, so half of this block, this green pepper, this red onion, we're gonna pop it all in a big bowl because our whole salad is going to be mixed in one bowl. you saw me add in the cooled rinsed and drained tortellini I added it to the green pepper the red onion or purple onion and the basil I have not added in the cheese yet just because I didn't want it to get mushy so I'm gonna put it here at the you know as I'm putting together the rest of the salad so I'm gonna give that kind of a quick stir start mixing it together we need two cups of cherry tomatoes so you know what I think I'm just gonna put this whole pack in that way it I don't have just a couple little extra cherry tomatoes because that looks like about two cups. It's 16 ounces and there's technically eight ounces in a cup. So that's about two cups of cherry tomatoes. And then out of my food scale, I weighed out 2.25 ounces of black olives or that would be one small can if you bought a can at the grocery store. But you remember I have the big pack from Costco. And then I also weighed out three ounces of the Hormel turkey pepperoni and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna give this another stir. I wanna make sure that that pepperoni gets mixed in pretty good with the, the tortellini before we add in the uh, zesty Italian dressing and the mozzarella cheese cubes. But doesn't this look so yummy and refreshing? It's so perfect because it is packed with protein. Between all the cheese, the tortellini, and the pepperoni, you're getting a good, good dose of protein in this salad. So. And plus, hello, it looks amazing. Oh, we have a basil leaf. There we go. All right. And then I have one cup of the Kraft Zesty Italian. As you know, the ingredients in this dressing are not my favorite, but I'm really limited on clean store-bought dressing, so we're going to make do with it. It tastes really good. It's just they use an oil that I don't really care for, but it tastes good. It's going to be really yummy in this salad. So we're going to really give this a mix because we want to make sure that everything is mixed together really well, gets coated with that dressing. And then the last thing that we're going to do is toss in the eight ounces of mozzarella cubes. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. And then this whole bowl makes eight servings of the salad. I need five servings for the week, and whatever is left, we'll just put in a container. My husband will love this. He's similar to that tortellini salad that he gets at Costco that I shared in my Costco grocery haul or my massive grocery haul on Saturday. If you haven't seen that, definitely check that out because... It was a huge grocery haul and he gets this tortellini salad from there that is actually kind of reminiscent of this one. This one is just a lot better ingredients and a lot better in points, but yum, you guys. So I'm gonna get this into some bowls for the week. I'll be back to show you the salad, give you smart points, calories, and we'll talk about what I'm gonna pair for extra protein. All right, so here is lunch, you guys. This looks so good. So after putting this into the lose it app and seeing how many grams of protein i'm not going to pair this with any additional points or protein because this has over 20 grams of protein in it so that is plenty for me for lunch so this bowl breaks down to eight smart points per serving when you make it into 10 different bowls i do have another full bowl over here this is for my husband so this is about three servings worth but this bowl here is eight smart points you're getting in a good amount of protein you have some veggies with the tomatoes and the green peppers and the onions so i think this is plenty now if you were going to pair this with protein you could do chicken breast for zero 
I was thinking maybe some of the new chick on the block or even just some lunch meat maybe rolled up to get a little extra protein. So it just depends on how hungry I am. But I honestly think that this bowl is going to be plenty for a meal. So again, this is eight smart points, 275 calories per serving, which is not very many calories for eight points, my friends. This plays pretty well into my philosophy on depending on what you eat, your points and calories can be pretty far off, but this is 275 calories and eight smart points per serving. I'll probably pair it with some fruit, maybe a protein, depending on how hungry I am, but you guys, how great is this for summer? For a sweet treat this week, we are making cinnamon sugar messy bread. Basically, we're making monkey bread and I couldn't be more excited. This is one of my favorite things. I'm just wanting something kind of light, not really dense like chocolate or anything. So this sounds amazing. Brings in a little bit of fair vibes. Can't wait. So let me show you what's in dessert. You're going to need some sweetener of your choice. I'm using the monk fruit. I'm also using the powdered monk fruit sweetener. Now this is really sweet. So use half of the amount that the recipe calls for of regular powdered sugar if you are using the Lakanto monk fruit. This one is a one-to-one -one ratio. This one is not. So be aware of that. I'm just using some milkadamia milk. You could really use any milk or milk alternative. It's just a very small amount. Of course, you'll need some cinnamon, vanilla extract, butter of your choice. If you go with a light butter, you can recalculate and you may be able to save some points, but I'm using melt butter. And then I'm making it easy on myself and I'm using the pre-made plain pizza dough from Trader Joe's. So Let's make some monkey bread. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the pizza dough. This dough is very, very sticky. And we're just going to chop it into cubes. I think what I'm going to do, just to make it a little easier, is I'm gonna chop it into little pieces like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it because like I said, this is pretty sticky into little balls like this. Now the original recipe does have a pizza dough recipe that you can copy if you'd rather. I was just trying to make it easier easier on myself by using a pre-made dough. You could probably even use biscuit dough or the crescent roll dough. I mean, there's a lot of options that you can do with this. These don't have to be perfect circles either or squares, however you decide to cut yours up. You just want to be able to roll these in the butter and the sugar mixture. That's really the big thing. So I'm going to get these cut up and thrown here into a bowl. And then I think I'm going to pop it in the fridge while I put together the butter and the cinnamon and sugar. So we're going to set up some stations here. I have half of a cup of the melt butter. I'm going to pop this in the microwave, get this melted. In this bowl, this is our cinnamon and sugar station. So we need about half of a cup of the monk fruit sweetener. I'm not even going to measure it because it's zero points and I may have to add more, but I don't want to waste it either. So I'm going to start with, you know, this is probably pretty close to half a cup. And then we're going to go ahead and add in cinnamon. And I would say to your liking, I love cinnamon. So I want a decent amount in here. And then I'm going to just kind of mix this together. And this will be our cinnamon and sugar dipping station. We'll get the butter melted and then we'll be ready to start on this bread. So I went ahead and pulled out a large loaf pan. You can also do mini loaves, whatever your preference is. I'm going to spray this very, very good with nonstick cooking spray so that nothing sticks. We've got our cinnamon and sugar. We've got our melted butter. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the dough from the refrigerator. Let's get started. So how we're gonna do this is we are gonna go ahead and take a ball of dough. We are going to dip it into the butter and then we are going to dip it into the cinnamon and sugar. Now I may use a spoon to do the butter part now that I'm thinking about it, but basically get it coated like a cinnamon and sugar kind of donut hole and then we're gonna pop it in the baking dish and we're just gonna repeat that process. I do have a spoon right here actually until we have this loaf pan full of all of this yummy dough. 
All right, look at that, you guys. That is going to really grow as it cooks. And I did wanna show you that I have all of this butter left. So I'm gonna take it because we've accounted for it in the points and I'm gonna put it on top. And it also has some cinnamon and sugar mixed in from rolling in the dough balls. And that will just make it really, really ooey gooey. So this is going in at 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's sticky and golden brown. While this is in the oven, we'll make the glaze. So to make the glaze, we're gonna go ahead and pull out another bowl. I have a quarter of a cup here and the powdered Lakanto. I'm going to start with a quarter of a cup of the powdered sugar. Like I said, this is very, very sweet. It says right here, two times sweeter. That is legit. So I'm gonna start with a quarter of a cup and then I'm just going to add a little bit of milk and I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. The recipe calls for about a tablespoon and a half of milk and about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to mix this and I'm going to add the powdered sugar continuing until I have a glaze consistency. So see how this is a little bit runny. So I am gonna go ahead and pop in another quarter of a cup of the powdered Lakanto. Give that another stir and that's probably gonna do it. You can always add a little more milk or vanilla if you do wanna make it a little bit more of a runny consistency. So I do need a little more milk. So just a tiny bit, just do little bits at a time. You can always add more, but you can't take away until you have, it's going to be fairly thick. You wanna be able to drizzle it over the bread. So this is actually a really, really good consistency right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this aside until the bread comes out of the oven. Look at this bread, you guys. This looks so good. It's so ooey gooey and cinnamony. I'm going to let it cool for just a couple of minutes then we'll pop on the glaze and we'll take a look at the final product. All righty, let's glaze this baby. So our glaze is a perfect consistency. I'm just going to spread it over the top of the bread. You guys, this looks so indulgent, but wait until you hear the points. Not bad at all. And we use just regular pizza dough. We didn't do anything fancy to lower points or anything of the dough that we used. And it's still incredibly low in smart points. So let's get this glaze on here. All right, look at this. Hello deliciousness so let's go over the points so we're gonna cut this into 12 servings so it's going to be a pretty good size serving you can make it in a square you could also do it as a slice you could count the number of dough balls that you have and do it that way but you want 12 equal servings it is only four smart points for all plans now i did figure it out for you if you opted to have light butter instead of regular butter like i did the melt you would save a point so it'd only be three smart points per serving 133 calories i can't wait this looks so good i know my husband is going to be so excited about this highly recommend this recipe thank you so much for joining me on another weekly ww meal prep i hope you are as excited about these three recipes as i am I seriously can't wait for tomorrow to have the breakfast, the lunch, and of course, hello, monkey bread? Yes, please. Make sure you're checking out my website so you can get a hold of these recipes, make them for yourself, for your friends, your family. Everybody's going to love them. It, they are very, very family friendly, kid friendly, and of course, absolutely delicious and WW friendly. Make sure you're checking out links and discount codes down below for some of the products that I shared with you today. And also head over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of that community as well. If you're new, subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. We have a lot of fun around here. So make sure you're part of this community. Of course, thumbs up this video if you really enjoyed today's meal prep. It really helps my channel and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this beautiful Monday and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.